Hi, this is Mitchell Philpott, and this brief video previews the integration between Curo and Microsoft Outlook. Now, Outlook is the default software used throughout our entire industry for email, task and diary management, and Curo seamlessly extends Outlook to embed CRM capabilities directly into the parts of Outlook that you probably already use every day. With many back office systems, users spend much of their time toggling between Outlook and their back office system in which they need to record the evidence and audit trail of the work that they've done. But that's certainly not the case when you use Curo with Outlook. An email has just arrived from a client called Terry Suttering, and all I need to do to make the essential connection between Outlook and Curo is to click the track button. You'll see that the system confirms that the email is being tracked in CRM against both the client and also the user of the system, which is myself, and by clicking I can seamlessly access the client's record in Curo. Now what's important is that the system hasn't just recognised the link between the incoming email and the client, the selection of the track button has actually pushed a copy of the email into the client's activities here. Now in order to create a new email in response to the client, as I am now in Curo, I simply select Add and then Email. And here again is the beauty of the integration with Outlook, as the email will be immediately recognisable to you as the Outlook email with all of its richness of functionality in terms of formatting, attaching files, branding, etc. but with the added benefit of correspondence templates, but they're covered in a separate super user video. Now, notice that the response is automatically tracked as I initiated this email from within the client's record in Curo. And that means that it will be automatically saved into the client's closed activities when I finished typing my message and when I send it. Now, because my correspondence has been automatically saved against the client record in Curo, I have no need to copy and paste this message into another system, and that saves me a great deal of wasted time. And because Curo is managed centrally and securely, and because the records and data within it are routinely backed up, I can delete the item from my inbox when I'm done. Now, making it that easy for everyone in your company to record their work against client records could be transformational in terms of compliance audit as well as operational efficiency. And Terry's efficient too because here is my response. Now, I can open the email in the usual manner, but I can also read the email in the viewing pane here, which is a very useful feature of Outlook and one that you probably already use. You've seen how I can click to track, but this time, Rather than simply leave the record tracked, I want to set the email regarding the policy that Terry is referring to in his request. I want to do this so that I can connect this correspondence both to the client and to the policy, and I do that by selecting the entity that I want to link to, which is Holdings. Find the record, select OK, and that's it. Notice now that in the view pane, the system usefully confirms the actual record in Curo that the correspondence has been set regarding. Now to create an appointment in my calendar. Of course, I can go to the calendar itself, but because I can also create an appointment directly from the client record in Curo, this time I'm going to add an appointment. Now again, I get the full richness of Outlook for recording the appointment, the scheduling assistant to find available time from colleagues, the ability to invite others. And again, you'll notice that the appointment is tracked against the client. However, what I want to do is track this appointment not only against the client, but also against the standard life policy to which the meeting specifically relates. Now by doing this, the system will relate the appointment to the client's policy and will roll this up automatically so that I can see the appointment when browsing all activity at the client level also. To set this regarding the policy, all I do is simply select set regarding and the system conveniently remembers recent activity. So if you're working on a single client and tracking several items, it's just one click for each. Now, whilst I'm about it, I need to create a task because in advance of the meeting, I want to have a colleague obtain an up-to-date valuation for me. If I click to add a task, you'll see that the task form is similar to that in Outlook, but it's richer and it contains more functionality. For example, I can add the job that I'm currently creating to a work queue. I can attach a document if I want someone to look over something. I can make notes so I can invoke workflow to automate a business process. All of these functions are covered in more advanced tutorials. For now, I simply want to delegate this task to my young apprentice, Roland, and saving and closing the record will create a task in his task list, which will synchronize automatically with his task list in Outlook and even alert him on his iPhone that I need something doing because I've set the task to be done right now. 
Let's review what our client file now looks like. With all of the activity so far, we have open activities. The task just created and delegated to a colleague and the meeting that I've booked for next week. And I've closed activities represented by the emails exchanged so far, both incoming and also outgoing. I've completed what I need to do with the client, so I'll just save and close. Now, having set the email regarding the standard life pension, I can also click the link directly to the holding record in Curo, just as I was able to link directly to the client's contact record. As you'll recall, this correspondence was set regarding this policy, and here is a record of it, and the meeting was also set regarding the policy, as I can see here. When I'm done, I can save and close the record, and as I've already seen, a copy of this email is already stored in Curo, I can simply delete it from the Outlook inbox. Now, most of us work most effectively when we work from lists, and there are a few things more satisfying than ticking off to say that we've done everything we were meant to at the end of a day. Here's a task list that I wish were my own. Let's see how easy it is to add some reminders to the task list from Curo. If I open my Curo and select my active contacts, I can easily find the person that we've been working with today, Terry Suttering. And if I scroll across the screen, I can see the familiar follow-up flag. I can click to select that I want to be reminded to follow up, and I can see that the system has automatically added a task for me. I can then click to add a reminder, which not only uses Microsoft's standard reminder settings, but will synchronize my reminders to my smartphone, so I'll be alert to the tasks that I need to perform, even when I'm traveling and away from the office. Now let's complete the picture by adding a few more tasks or reminders to things that I need to follow up. Let's select the tab that I have pinned here as my personal favorite, showing the reviews that are due within the next six months. And again, if I scroll across to the right, I can see more columns of information. And here I can see the actual date of the review, which in some cases is almost upon us. So I'm going to place reminders against each of these records to jog my memory that these need attention next week. As you can see, Outlook neatly orders the tasks in the preview pane according to when they fall due. I can see those that have a specifically timed reminder attached by the alarm bell icon shown. Selecting tasks, which you'll recall a few minutes ago showed I had nothing outstanding, now reveals that I have four tasks on my to-do list. Now, of course, the real advantage of this being Curo and Outlook combined is that the link to these contacts is maintained by the system and I can access my contacts directly from my to-do list with just one click. I hope that you've enjoyed this brief look at the integration between Curo and Outlook. If you use Outlook in your own business and would like your client management system to work more productively with it, then why not give us a call and find out how we can help.